All right, guys, with the Quinn Cup getting underway, thought it would be a good time to post a uh, how-to on if you would like to stream a nice uh, OBS virtual cam for your match so everybody can kind of watch and see what's going on while you're playing. Uh, for those of you that don't have OBS, just head to any browser, search OBS. <clears throat> you're going to download basically the first link that comes up. And you're gonna click here, Windows 10, if that's what you're running. I already have it, so I am not gonna download it again. Now we're gonna open up OBS. I have an older version because it works well with some of my swing recording stuff, so yours might look a little different, uh, but the principles are going to be the same. Uh, so what we're gonna do is down here, we're gonna create a new scene. Name it whatever you want. Once you set up scenes, you can modify them pretty quickly, pretty easily, if you kind of know what you're doing. OBS looks a little complicated to start, but, uh, but once you play around with it a little bit, you'll be able to figure it out. So we created a new scene called Quinn Cup. First thing we're gonna do is get our uh, GS Pro game in there. So once we have the scene, click on the scene. We're gonna add a source, add, window capture. And for the window capture, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I already have GS Pro open. Obviously you would need GS Pro open to capture it. And it picks up my GS Pro here. You can resize this to whatever you want. If you click and drag these, it resizes the whole thing. If you hold down Alt, it will actually cut the corners. Um, so for this, we just want to resize it so it fits in here nicely. Uh, next thing we would add is we would add in our, you know, I'm gonna add in my camera. Uh, so video capture device here. We're going to use my live camera right there. We can resize that and put it in the corner here. And then we want to capture other players' cameras too. Uh, so to do that, we go into Discord, we go into a live channel. And one of the first things I do when I go into a live channel is I, I unclick this show non-video participants that way you don't get everybody else in there because this will mess up um, the videos that you're trying to capture here so i uncheck that uh, when i get into a channel and leave it off um, i'm going to turn it back on just so i have something to capture here um, i'm going to go back to our sources we're going to add another add a window capture and this time for the window we're going to use discord so I'm going to grab that whole Discord window. And then we're going to use that Alt thing I mentioned earlier. So you're going to hold down Alt, grab the corner, and you're going to resize this to capture other players' cameras. Um, you would really just need one person to do this. Um, you can have the other players just throw their cameras up live in Discord, and one player can make a nice stream if you want. So you just do this as many for as many players as you have. You grab their camera throw it in there. The other nice thing that we like to see uh, on streams is a score. Uh, the easiest way that I find to do that is in sources, just add another, add text, name it whatever you want, and team Eskimo up three. You know, something along those lines, uh, which I'm sure we'll see a lot of that. And resize that to whatever you want and you know throw that anywhere on the screen that looks good leave that there once you have your whole scene set up hopefully looking a little nicer than this um, you're going to want to start virtual camera down here hit start virtual camera and then when we go back to obs instead of just turning on your camera here hit this little drop down guy and select obs virtual camera now when you do that it's gonna share the scene that you just created, which will look nice. It's easy for everyone to watch. You can watch all the players on one screen, see the score. It's going to look backwards to you when you are looking at your own camera, but this looks, it's flipped to everyone else. So hopefully for you guys that are new to playing live or new to OBS, hopefully this helps you out a little bit um, and can kind of get you through the basics of how to set that up. Once you set this up, it's pretty easy to go through and change uh, to make it work in any live channel that you're in. When you go back to OBS, if you are in a different channel, you can right click on your source here, hit properties and change it to, uh, change it to any window that you happen to be in. So this will be specific to whatever live channel you're in. 
if you join a different live channel, next time you're playing, you can just go through each little capture, hit properties, and change that to a different channel. Like I said, hopefully that helps you guys out, and uh, hope to see some live matches. Thanks, guys.